All 11 seasons of Red Dwarf are now on BritBox, but with nearly 70 episodes in the show to date, you may be wondering which episodes are more enjoyable than Lister's Breakfast of Curry and Lager. Whether you are a novice to the series, or a dwarfer from way back, we think that this guide will be a smeg-free look at the best of what the show has to offer. Here are 5 must-see Red Dwarf episodes. The very first episode of Red Dwarf, The End, established all that would come after. Almost all of the characters are introduced, and it serves as a great introduction to the rest of the series. The computer Holly added to the charm of the early years, and this episode remains one of the funniest pilots of the 1980s. Obviously there's no better place to start reviewing, so what the smeg are you waiting for? Everybody died. Well Selby! They're all dead. Everybody's dead died. <laughs> Triton wouldn't become a staple of the series until the third season, but he made his debut in this episode. Dave Ross portrays the character with an off-kilter regality that would be lost when Robert Llewellyn took over the role. Rebelling? Yeah, I, 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 I think that's what I'm doing. This episode establishes Crichton as a cleaning-obsessed mechanoid who would desire to be more than just his programming allows, a trait that would become his hallmark as the series progressed. In season seven, Chris Berry had limited involvement in the episodes. So in the episode Blue, thanks to Crichton's tech savvy, Lister gets to visit a virtual reality tribute to his departed bunkmate called the Rimmer Experience. This is part amusement ride and part egotistical hellscape in which Rimmer's misguided feelings about himself are brought to life. The clear highlight of the seventh season, it's a comedic entry that illustrates how the loss of Rimmer impacts not only the Starbug crew, but the series itself. Fortunately, Barry returned to Red Dwarf for its 8th season and has remained on board ever since. Opening with the cat's musical dream sequence and ending with the cliffhanger reveal that Lister is pregnant, Parallel Universe is a confident second season finale in which Rob Grant and Doug Naylor have perfected the show's mix of sci-fi and comedy. There are many priceless moments here, but for my money, the best part is the performance of the goofy love song, Tongue Tied, that leads off the episode. The tune was such a fan favorite that Danny John Jules released it as a single accompanied by a Red Dwarf-centric music video in 1993, where it tragically didn't top the charts. The music buying public can be real smegheads sometimes. In the episode Stasis Leak, thanks to a rip in the space-time continuum aboard the Red Dwarf, Lister gets a shot to travel back before the accident killed the ship's entire crew, including his would-be love Christine Kokansky. Meanwhile, Rimmer wants to save himself from death and hatches a scheme to use a stasis pod so he isn't wiped out. However, Lister also wants to utilize this tactic, but with Kotansky. But before the Dwarfers can bring anyone back to the future, which is their present, they encounter another version of themselves in a chronological comedy of errors. Shut up, you dead geek! Stop your foul whining, you filthy piece of distended retina! Head over to our website for an even more comprehensive list of must-see episodes, and check out Red Dwarf on BritBox today. Thanks for watching!